Let's play. start anew so once again I was just sort of checking these doors to see if any of them opened and I had cut out a part where I played with the blocks for like five minutes trying to create a little staircase and make them work but as you can see when I jump on them she doesn't even uh, sort of stay on top of one so, I gave up on that pretty quickly. So now back to the all-seeing eye. Again, you want to stay out of the light. So, that time I managed not to get caught in its beam. And once again made it past. Now the controls are a little bit, I don't want to say finicky, but it's actually pretty easy to fall to your death or jump the wrong direction. It reminds me of the Assassin's Creed games where you could scale up the side of a building and then very easily jump off the side when you didn't mean to. That can kind of happen here too. So you have to be a little bit more deliberate. Now this scene is very upsetting. Because what in the hell is that thing? Its arms are way too long, which reminds me of a scene from the original Nightmare on Elm Street, where Freddy as his arms spread across an alley and his claw is scraping against the wall. But I managed to escape. I 
was just deathly afraid that that creature was going to burst in this room. Now I saw in that room at least one little boy sleeping. I don't know what was in the other beds, but I wasn't going back to find out. So, now we go down another long vent and into a little bit more open area. And as I mentioned before, you have rats in addition to whatever those creatures are, but you can see that the the girl's getting like stomach pains or hunger pangs. And that kind of came out of nowhere because that hasn't happened yet. But clearly she's not doing well. And it just so happens that we walk across where the cafeteria is. And again, she's very hungry. And up ahead, there seems to be someone sitting down to eat. And whoever it is decides that they're going to share their food with her. And it seems like she was really, really, really hungry. So, I tried to interact with whoever that was, but it didn't work out. There was nothing he could do, and they sort of went back to their business. Here we have an empty noose. And my first thought was that I would be able to drag something to reach it, but that didn't... That didn't work. I was also afraid in here that these shower heads were going to... Something bad was going to come out of them, so I tried to sort of avoid them as much as I could. And you notice that in the background, and kind of scattered all over the place, are these crates and these cages, almost like animal cages. And you can sort of imagine that maybe there was a lot of people like this little girl that have been brought down here over the years. Now, so far, when I've gone near any of those, there hasn't been anything inside them. You notice that that gate was electrified, so we have to find a way to turn it off. There's certain things that you can grab onto, but then, um, there's nowhere else for her to go, so you can't, like, leap up like you can in, like, um, you know, Assassin's Creed or Uncharted or anything like that. But I knew that this thing hanging in the middle of the room would have something to do with the puzzle. And again, there's a lantern that you can light. Now, I'm starting to think that those are actually, like, collectibles. Like, you'll get an achievement if you, or a trophy, if you light them all or something like that. That was a really bad miss jump. And I'm probably still falling, so. Here we are back in the room with the noose. So I have to do that part over again. see in the foreground. 
walk around that there's some of those slimy things that are hanging from the shower heads. But they didn't bother me there. So once again, I have to scale up. The climbing is okay in this game. What's cool about it is they seem to do a good job of sort of directing you to take in everything that's going on in the background and stuff like that. So again, my goal is to jump on this thing and not fall to my death. And there we go. Except I was afraid I was going to do that thing where I jump off accidentally. So I was like super careful. Now we scale up the chain. And I knew I wanted to get right there, but I knew if I just kept going, I'd at least get a look at the rest of the level. And then I ran into my dead end. So the key is definitely this thing that's hanging from the chain. And at first I couldn't figure out how to get up here. Like that's where it gets a little bit clunky instead of just climbing right over the edge. You sort of can get stuck there when you're climbing. So then you're not sure if it's just that you're doing something wrong or that you can't actually climb up. And here it was just me doing something wrong because you can definitely get over this lip. And I think I do it this time. I think third time's the charm. Because as you can see, there's a switch up there. There's actually two switches. That one won't move yet. So it's on to the next one. So that brought up the crates, and then this switch moves them side to side. At first I wondered if it was like a wrecking ball that would create a new area for me to explore. But then I realized it's just a uh, method of transportation. So I had to bring it back. And then I have to hitch a ride. And so here we are on the other side. And I had been poking around here so long, I forgot what I was even here for. Uh, but it's to turn off the electricity for the room downstairs. But I kind of got lost in the moment, and I didn't even remember that I was trying to do that. Now here I knew that I needed to use the file cabinets. But for some reason, this second drawer would not work. So I thought, oh, maybe if I move these drawers around a little bit. No. It took me a couple minutes to realize that there was more than one filing cabinet, and the reason was that they wanted me to use all of them. But I kept trying that first drawer like five extra times. And then, finally, yeah. There we go.
file cabinet, but I made it. And then the switch. I wasn't too thrilled about poking around in the dark, but it was pretty obvious what I needed to do here. Now that rope that we saw at the very beginning makes sense. And there's another lantern. And see here, this is the first one that I found a creature in. And I let him out. So I think that freeing them and lighting the lanterns may be like the collectibles. In any case, now we're going all the way back down to where we started, which at first I was kind of frustrated because I had totally forgot that I was up there to turn the electricity off. But now that I'm back, I can make my way back to that door. Now you notice that there's more of these slimy things in here than there were before, and now they're coming out of the drain. And none of them have, like, gotten me yet, but I keep waiting for one of them to grab my leg or something. But this is the door that we we're trying to turn off right here. So, now we're through there. And more climbing. Or not. You can see the light flickering in the room over, which means that we're going to face another one of those spotlights. And you can see that it's a little more complicated this time because as the ship lulls from side to side, uh, the basket goes with it. I almost died right there, and that's super terrifying. So I knew I need to ha needed to get behind this and sort of go with it. But then I mistimed it. so mad after just getting through there, so. You'll see I have to do that all over again, but um, with that I think I'm going to wrap up this episode. Again, almost got roasted. And then I might have got even sloppier here. Yeah, I did. So I died again. So I was getting sloppy. So that's a good place to wrap up, though. So if you like this episode, then please click like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And I'll be back again soon with more little nightmares.